All right, hey guys, uh, BNSF Railfans here. Um, I want to make a quick video. I'm on, I'm here down on my layout, um, so it's not the BNSF layout, but uh, I want to make a quick video just showing some of the power that will be up on the layout this summer. Um, I'm sure you guys saw the uh, the other power or locomotive overview showing the roster as of now, but I'm going to show you some power that will come up this summer, and you'll see on the layout. So first we'll start off with this engine. Um, we mentioned it in the other video uh, that this will be coming up, but it's an Athern ready-to-run BNSF ST40 uh, that had a lot of custom work done to it. Um, it started out just out of the box, um, no fancy details or anything, so we added everything. Uh, we put non-operating ditch lights, which look good. That's kind of compromised. They don't work, but they look better than ones that would work. Um, and we got the we added the MU uh, cable and the MU hoses and a plow and we painted the end um, handrails white. We also did light weathering to it and added DCC. Um, so this one doesn't have sound, which is okay. Uh, there's the light, really nice. I think this summer we're going to uh, rewire that beacon up top because if you can see it does go on and off, just doesn't flash. Um, so we'll probably rewire that to a separate function and allow it to flash. But you'll see that later, so let's pull this one forward really quick. So we can get the uh, next locomotive. Uh, so the next locomotive here is uh, Athern Genesis um, SD70 ACE. Uh, let me select it really quick, sorry. So this will be coming up. So uh, there, I just fired up the sound. Um, obviously very detailed. It was the first run ever, so uh, it has uh, some flaws or things that have been fixed on newer runs, but it's still a really nice engine. Sorry for the camera work, it's kind of shaky. Um, but it looks really nice. It's got that deep orange, um, it looks really good. Uh, it does have sound, as I said all the good Genesis details, so here's headlight, ditch lights, one of them burnt out, so I'll have to replace that. Might send it to Athens, but no biggie, you'll see that this summer, and I think it'll look really great pulling uh, some BNSF trains with uh, Jeevos and other locomotives, so pull this forward. Oh, sorry, dirty track. Alright, uh, third locomotive um, is uh, Athern AC4400 uh, CW. Same thing here, it was a uh, just regular ready to run, and I swear that this engine is probably about six years old. It's very old. Um, probably one of my first modern engines that I ever got. But I just installed DZC into it not that long ago. Um, I just hadn't invested the time um, to do it. But, as you can see, there's been a little custom work to it. Same thing. Added ditch lights. They're non-operating, but they look really nice. Um, we did add a plow. Um, MU cable and then MU hoses, um, and then I had to replace the handrails because some of them were broken. But I plan to also detail this engine um, a little more, so you can see that coming up. Um, so that is another good BNSF engine that'll look good pulling uh, pulling trains on the BNSF layout. So we'll move on to the next engine. Um, all right, this one, if you've looked at my channel, Railfan220, I'm sure you've seen this engine. Um, this is kind of like the powerhouse of my fleet, and my favorite locomotive ever. I don't know why, I'm Jeevo lover, but still love EMD too. I mean, I love this SC70 ACE. It's awesome. I just, uh, I don't, I just like the Norfolk Southern ES40 DCs. Um, so, enough of me talking, we'll get on to the details. Um, good intermountain details. If you look at the other overview, you could uh, see those, but has Norfolk Southern paint, um, and obviously you wouldn't see a lot of these out in Southern California, but oddly enough it seems if you were going to see a Ford Railroad besides like Ferromex or Union Pacific, it would be Norfolk Southern. Because every once in a while uh, you'll see you'll see a few, few of these units out there, so it actually doesn't make, um, I mean it does make a little bit of sense to have it on the layout, so you'll see that um, has good sound. It's the same run as the, 
number 7724 that uh, we showed in the other update in the H2 BNSF paint. So it's got the same sound and everything. But it sounds really good. Um, I guess we'll move on. Uh, last locomotive is uh, Atherin Ready to Run SD45, which I just received um, from JFine01, so check out his channel. But it's really nice, actually. Um, so it's still stock, nothing's happened to it. But that'll be a cool project this summer. Hopefully, we can do the same thing we did to that SD40. Um, like uh, patch it, we'll put BNSF lettering under here um, on the rear as well, and then we'll weather it, and then add some details. And eventually I also want to add ditch lights, but I think since we are ordering LEDs to install over the all over the uh, layout, I think I'll get a pair of surface mount um, LEDs to uh, install as ditch lights, and I think they'll look really good. So, same thing here, let me select the engine really quick, sorry. Um, same lighting as the other engine. So this is pretty much the same engine as that SD40 right there. It's just a different model. Um, but I think same release here. So that's it. Uh, sorry, I was probably a little lengthy for just five engines. But I wanted to show them to you. Um, so this recap, I have the AC44 CW, SD45, um, ES40 DC with sound, this uh, SD70 ACE, which also has sound, and then the SD40 uh, that will be coming up this summer, and this will be one of the main uh, switchers on the layout. So look for that to come. Just wanted to show that to you really quick, just so you know what will be up there this summer. And uh, hopefully um, you enjoyed that. And if you have any questions, please ask uh, us, or uh, just comment on the video or on the channel. But um, I think that's it. So thanks for watching, and look for more videos coming soon.